Okay, guys. Um, so with the arrival of both Spi the coming arrival of both Spider-Man Two and Wolverine, there's been a lot of talk of Insomniac Games uh, and their Marvel universe with Square Enix. Um, there's been a lot of talk of what Marvel char what other Marvel characters should get a game by Insomniac, and a lot of talk has been pointed towards one character in particular, and I full-heartedly agree with that, and I can explain how this actually could go down. And that character is Daredevil. I really do think Daredevil is the perfect candidate for Insomniac, for the next Marvel character to get an Insomniac game. Daredevil, literally, you could do the whole sneak around, you could do like a free roam in Hell's Kitchen and most of New York. You could literally do so much with Daredevil. And imagine what you could do with the radar sense. Just, you know, dare, you could use, harness the power of the uh, the radar sense to like detect people or like actually be kind of cool like how there were mini games when you were playing Peter Parker, not Spider-Man. But basically, Peter in his civilian life, you could have it like, you could do games where kind of like a I guess like Phoenix Wright kind of thing, where you could be in a courtroom defending a, you know, defending a, a you know, defending someone you, who has hired you or prosecuting someone. You could use like his radar sense like to tell lies or something. That'd be really cool. Like really use Matt's like enhanced abilities. Um, and they'd be vastly, you could use them vastly different from... Spider-Man, like you could use the radar sense to like detect multiple people in a room when you're sneaking around a room. Um, you could use uh, your enhanced like hearing to, to sense something up in the in the room above or hear a gun being loaded, something like that. So that would be, I think that would that would just be really cool. And the, could you imagine the fighting, the fight style for Daredevil, like utilizing the billy clubs and whatnot? That would be awesome. Uh, just and again the takedowns oh my god um so let's talk about the st like what could the story be and you're already thinking well daredevil only has like an like five villains okay he only has like so many villains to which i say yeah everyone knows usually there's four characters everyone knows and uses for daredevil and that's kingpin the hand uh bullseye and the Owl, or Elect uh, and Electra sometimes. So, four out of five. And we'll get to Electra at some point. So, let's talk about, like, what could the story be, and what other villains you could utilize in this game. Because, trust me, I think this would also be perfect to utilize, you know, Daredevil's other rogues. And I'll talk about what rogues we could use in this, in this game. So, starting off, this would obviously be King Fisk is still in prison, like, Fisk would still be in jail, and in doing so, I, I, I think the story, uh, like, how I would do it is that the, um, the story would be after Fisk was arrested, there's been, like, a power grab among, um, other villains, and the one who's getting the most, especially in Hell's Kitchen, is the Owl. So, yeah, I would have the Owl be the big villain of the, of the first game. Like, I would bring in Fisk and do, like, an adaptation of Born Again for the second game, like a version of Born Again. But, really, I would have the Owl be, like, being the one who's, like, taking up a lot of, like, um, uh, like, land, like, he's taking up a lot of territory, especially in Hell's Kitchen. So, the Owl would be the, um, Leland Owlsley would be the big first villain. I would, like, reference the hand, but I wouldn't bring in the hand. Like, I would have, like, maybe some, like, a side quest where you deal with the hand, but you wouldn't face them head-on until, like, the second game. So, King, I would save Kingpin and the hand for, like, the second game, because that's the one, we're all, I don't want to blow your, you don't want to blow your load right out the gate. And also, I would have Fisk in the game, but not as, like, a boss or anything, but, like, he would play a, a part of the story, like, you know, he's, you know, Fisk is angry that Leland Owlsley, of all people, is taking up all of his territory. He's like, are you fucking kidding? Leland fucking, Ow the owl? is the big competitor here. And I would like to include, like, um, the Libras family from the, Chips, the new Chip Zdarsky run. Um, also, because Matt was boning one of them. So, uh, the Libras family, the Libras crime family, who Fisk picked to run 
um, a lot of territory. I would even have that in the game where Fisk, who's still like in prison, he's like he's just chilling in prison. He's just like I'm gonna have the Libris family be my you know eyes and ears on the ground, and they're the ones who are like the big gang war with the owl. Um, so the other is so. Would Electra be in this game? That's the other big question. I would say absolutely. I would definitely have Electra in this game, and I would have her. I would actually have her much like like I would have her as like a boss and like because maybe you could have it like Electra is hired by the Libras family to take out the owl, and of course Matt's like no, we don't do that. So I would have it like she's a boss you have to fight. But in the second game. I would have it like you could tag team the both. Like you ha how you're going to be able to do in the second Spider-Man game is have it be um, Miles and Peter working together. In the second game, I would have it it's, it's Matt and Elektra working together, and you could do like takedowns together. Um, I would even have Stick in the game. Stick would definitely be part of the game, and maybe even like be like side quests where he would be tra like kind of like challenges. Yeah, actually, that now that I think about it, that would probably be the best way to implement Stick in the game. Like, Stick would show up, and he would do, like, make Matt do little, like, side challenges to increase, like, your stamina or whatnot, or enhance your radar senses. Um, things like that. That's how I would, um, that's how I'd implement Stick in this game. Um, so let's talk about the other villains. Um... Now, like I said, Daredevil is known for usually four, four things in terms of villainy. What if I told you there is a way more assortment of villains in here that you could... There's a small plethora of villains that you could utilize for the game, for a Daredevil game. And there are a few that I think would really work. First off, the Gladiator. Not the guy... Not Mohawk Gladiator. There was a guy named Gladiator who you did see in Daredevil... In the Daredevil TV show... He was a guy who invented weapons and whatnot. And I would have it like he's he gets the armor and you, he, he be, kind of becomes a good guy later on. Like an ally to, Gladiator, uh, to Daredevil. But in the first game I would have it like he's a boss fight you have to take on. Like the owl, like he's the owl's muscle. Um, something like that. Another, the Matador. The Matador would be another fun villain for Matt to fight. Um, the Jester is another one. Definitely the Jester is a fun one. Oh, and just for shits and giggles, I would have Stilt Man here. Definitely, I would 100% have Stilt Man in this game. Um, as a side, as like a boss, like he just should, like it'd be kind of like, um, Myster when you fight Mysterio in the Spider-Man 2 game where he shows up and he gets all that level and whatnot, you just punch him once and he goes down. It'd be like that, only... Stiltman like rises up and he's like, "You cannot stop me, Daredevil. I am." You just hit X, you trip him. <laughs> so that would just be the Stiltman boss fight. <laughs> um, and another villain I would have in here, Typhoid Mary. Absolutely, I would have Typhoid Mary. Like, I would have it like maybe Typhoid is since she's working with Fisk in the comics right now. I would have it like Typhoid is like Fisk's. Envoy and like what like working with the Libras family, so Typhoid would be like their bodyguard and also like I, I I report to Fisk and I tell him everything. So Typhoid Mary would be in this game. Now the big question is Bullseye in the game because you need you kind of need Bullseye here. Um, yeah, I mean it wouldn't be a Daredevil game without Bullseye. So you like. I was thinking of ha of saving Bullseye for a second game, but I think Fisk in the hand and a few other villains sprinkled in between would are better saved for later. But you kind of need Bullseye for you. It, it wouldn't be a Daredevil game without having Bullseye there. So, one hundred percent, I th this could actually work. A Daredevil game. Daredevil, I think, has enough villains. Is you know. Like I said, you could utilize the Libras family. You could have Typhoid working for them. The Owl can be the big villain. Um, but for other villains, like I would say, if kill like um, the Purple Man. Yeah, the Purple Man would be it would be referenced. I wouldn't have Kilgrave in the game directly. I'd save him for a set for the second game. So yeah, kill. Uh, so Purple Man second game. Um, maybe ref like I would actually like. For the second game, and you're gonna think you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I would have a Punisher boss fight. I would have a like Daredevil versus Punisher boss fight, either in this game or the second game, 
probably the first game because yeah, Matt uh, Matt and Frank have a very complex rivalry and of course Punisher is like killing people like during like the the gangs are all trying to get territory. So of course Matt has to jump in and Punisher's like, "All right, Matt, we're doing this my way. Don't worry, I'll use rubber bullets." So yeah, I would actually have it like how they're kind of hinting at a Hulk and Wolverine a, a Hulk fight, a Hulk boss fight in the Wolverine game. I would have a pun a Punisher boss fight in the in the Daredevil game. So, there you go. Just there is no way you can tell me that in, uh, that a Daredevil game wouldn't work, to which I would say bullshit. This would be awesome. Um, so you guys tell me in the comments below. I was actually spurred to do this video by talking with some of my friends on, uh, some of the Patreons on Patreon, and everyone was unanimously agreeing. Out of all the characters, Daredevil is the one who should be first and foremost for an Insomniac, uh, to get the Insomniac treatment. Um, so you guys tell me in the comments below. Um, do you think Daredevil, uh, should get a game by Insomniac? Yes or no? And, well, who would you have in here? Like, what heroes, villains? Of course you have, um, I would have, would have Karen Page here. Like, just a little longer. She needs a little love and treat, love and help. Foggy, obviously. Um, maybe even have a She-Hulk cameo in the Matt Murdock, like, Matt Murdock court stuff. Like, kind of really digging that Phoenix Wright thing. So have She-Hulk in the game. But not as a boss fight. Like, you... You, like, have a back and forth with her. Something like that. Or reference She-Hulk. So, yeah. Just comment below, let me know. And once again, I will le uh, go check out my Patreon if you want to be a Patreon and have a Patreon request video on here. Or just see some Patreon-exclusive videos. But, uh, yeah, until next time, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.